You can't go over there, man. You naughty baby. Are you guys ready for the best day ever? Yeah! Let's do a high five! High five. There we go! There we go! You guys gotta hang here and eat your spaghetti though. Try and keep some of it on your plate. Um, we're at Holiday's house because we're going on a best day ever adventure today. See airplanes! Do you like airplanes? Yeah. Yeah. You guys have probably noticed that every time I try and vlog outside, you hear jets in the background. It ruins like every shot. It's because we live by an Air Force base. Look, there's one right there. Zoom in. Can you see it? I don't know if I can see it. What kind of plane was it? F-16. I wish I had my other lens so I could zoom in on this stuff. We're going to get up and close. We're going to be able to touch the planes. You want to touch a jet? I saw a really cool one. It like opened and it had cool stuff in it. Remember that one time we cut open an airplane with what's inside and then lifted it up and dropped it from 55 feet in there? That was cool. That was in Arizona where these guys lived. Yeah. And you said, Shondurus. <laughs> Shondurus! There's another plane. C-130. How can you know what it is just from looking at like the shadow? Well, there's not a whole lot of that size of four prop. I'm, I'm guessing. If he's wrong, the internet is going to let you know. Oh, yeah. The internet is going to tear you apart, Dad. I brought my dad along because he can get us on Hill Air Force Base and show us some cool stuff. Oh, hey. Want to get in my van? I'm, I'm controlling the holiday van right now. You boys ready for a ride? Yes. Hi. You girls want to go see some jets? Baby. That white one you said? The white one up there. My dad's brother flew that aircraft in training. It's a training aircraft? It's a T-38 training aircraft. Yeah. How long have you been flying airplanes? Uh, I think about 30 years. years. Kind of our whole family is in the uh, military, Air Force, Army. It's pretty cool. Something that we really care about, you know? That was one of the happiest days that I can remember. You were just getting home from from Iraq. I went, Iraq. I, I spent 15 months in Iraq, and it was. Months. I remember that like it was the best day ever, literally. <laughs> so all growing up, I had seen people serve our country, and I just I knew how important it was. But actually, having my own dad leave and then see how hard of a struggle it was for our family to try and like function without him, and for him to miss us, it was really hard. I can't even like it was hard for us, and we were just chilling at home. It must have been really hard for you to be in a stressful situation, missing your families. Um, one of the things that made me think to make this video: one, holidays kids really wanted to see airplanes and jets because they just moved here. But two, a couple weeks ago, I got an email from the Wounded Warrior Project. They're like, "Hey, we love for we we love watching your best days ever. We think it would be really cool if you did a video and kind of talked about what the Wounded Warrior Project is." And I said. That's a good idea. You know, they do a lot of great things to help make the transition to lead normal, great lives. Because it is harder, It's right? really hard, it's really hard. You know, the wounds that we have are both not visible, mm -hmm. internal, uh, emotional, psychological wounds, as well as- I've actually been, been wounded, physically wounded. Physically wounded and- When you first came back, it was hard because any loud noises or us yelling or just like a sudden, like, you know, you drop your phone on the ground, it would yeah. like really startle you. It does take a psychological toll as well yeah. as an emotional toll. So if you're wondering what Wounded Warrior Project is, it's basically this organization that takes people that have returned from war and helps any needs that they have. It's completely free for them. It helps them adjust like physically, mentally, everything back to kind of the real world and helps them kind of get their feet on the ground yeah. and figure out what they yeah. want to do and they go after all the stuff that we always talk about. Like if you have a dream, like get after it. I think another thing that they do really well is nowadays there's so much war and stuff going on that there's so many people serving. They help yeah. them adjust so that we don't have a generation that's just like affected by war. They've paid their dues and the Wounded Warrior Project has helped them come back and adjust. They've done so much for us. Wounded Warrior Project is cool. I'm gonna go find the kids now, but uh, link will be in the description so you can learn more about that. Let's go look at more jets. Now that's a vlog camera right there. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. How much fun? Out of 10? 
Good. Good out of 10? Do you guys see the astronaut food? Um, I don't know. Where is it? There it is. What one do you want to get? Chocolate ice cream. Strawberries. Ice cream. I want ice cream. Adley, what one do you want? Let's get Adley some apple wedges. Oh, he's got the cookies open. <gasps> Adley's going to eat a space apple. Okay, Chloe, here's. Space ice cream? She likes space apples. That's ice cream? Okay, eat it. Tell me what you think. Whoa. Is that a cookie? It's a space oh cookie. God. Take a bite. Take a bite out of crime. Oh. <laughs> that did crunchy. Is that good? Adley, how are the apples? She likes them. She loves them. She's just going to town. <laughs> we should get a bunch of this food for the space station, huh? <laughs> New rule, all we eat at the space station is space food. How Until we run food? out of money because space food's really expensive. <laughs> Cream? Let's try one of these apples. Closest space food I've ever had is tang. Well, that's weird. It just tastes like styrofoam with flavor. Let me try some of this cookie. Gross. <laughs> it's gross? <laughs> try the apple. Is this ice cream? Yeah, Napoleon ice cream. Space ice cream. It really is like eating flavored styrofoam. Why do you have that? Why would you get an Illuminati pop socket? <laughs> uh, fun fact, we're creating our own pop sockets right now. Shunder's pop socket's coming soon, and look, Shunder's beanies. Is everyone wearing Shunder's beanies right now? Look at this Shunder's beanie. Best day ever. Looking stylish, bro. They're trying to figure out uh, mixed reality VR. You might have seen it on Corridor Digital's channel. The guys always hang out with. They like do VR, but they're inside the game. We're trying to figure that out. Parker, how close are we like out of 10? <gasps> We're three out of 10 close. Maybe not as close as I thought. We're getting there. Update, that three to 10 has changed to a 10 out of 10 real quick. Parker, how's it going? Pretty good. Let me look at, what, did you, what are you making? I made a shrine for the Steven. The Steven went true oh, love. That hair though, it's so perfect big camera just this one so we got to find a camera that will work we also need to put the camera on the roof so it's looking down we're gonna film a mixed reality video the first one ever it might be kind of janky but it's you know is gonna be cool you think it's funny that not everyone's as tall as you is that funny to you <laughs> he like pulls out this tiny little step ladder adds like what an extra foot to his height <laughs> hey he gets the job done Someone's help. I'll help you Parker do I need the stepping stool so we got a new angle on the camera up here. This is the angle you'll be seeing when you look through this camera. It's the green screen. Mixed reality is set up. We just gotta do some, uh... Well, hey there, Sean hey there. Durris. Wait, is it gonna be space station stuff video? Yeah. Oh, boy! You need to grab the virtual camera. It's like a little white floating eyeball. What about the green cat? No, just ignore that cat. <laughs> the camera's messed up. But that's what we're fixing the camera for. White floating eyeball thing. Pink floating eyeball? White. Got it, does it look like a bug? Yep, so you're gonna grab it with the That's controller. The it's out of screen. Whoa, it's out of screen. I don't know about this. So he has to get that pink ball to go to like the full view. He has to get that pink ball into that pink goo and he had to build this contraption in order to do it. He used all these weird like wheels that move and stuff and he's moving them around right now. And it's cool because Parker set it up so we can see it in real life. It was all Brandon, he was like, Check this out. Put aerobic music right there. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Are you sending it? Training wheels on only one axle. <laughs> Send it. Let's see if it gets there. Okay. It looks really cool. Three, two, one. Oh, don't hit the. Dude, seriously? Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, at least you're good at editing vlogs. Hey chicken, end the vlog for me. Uh, uh, good night, uh, be safe, uh, have a happy new year in, like, well, like three days, I guess. Uh, good night.
camera flight. That camera sitting there without care.